Hello everyone and happy Friday. Well, it is Friday for me, but you're probably watching this on Monday. Uh, in this video, I thought I would tackle a question that has been asked quite a few times and it is, how do I get started or what is a good starter set to buy? I'm on a limited budget. I don't know what colors to buy. Can you guide me? So I have a few sets and I can only answer that question by giving you some guidance with what I already own and what I have tested. So there are a couple of options that I have tried. You can get these Prima watercolor sets that are quite affordable. It's decent quality. I'm not sure that it is art is great and I'm not sure how light fast they are, but if you are a beginner and you're not looking into selling your artwork, your original artwork to anybody, these are good sets and I have a few. I have this one here which is the Decadent Pies. I also have the Pastel Dreams in Tropicals. I love the Tropicals because they're beautiful, bold, bright colors. This is without a doubt <laughs> pastel colors. And these are wonderful for landscapes and uh, facial tones. So these are good investments and I want to say start with one set um, of your favorite colors maybe. But what I found was the best for me and this is actually how I started into watercoloring is this set here by Winsor & Newton. It is the Cotman series. And in there, you'll find all the colors that you need to get you started. These are good colors that you can mix together to get different tones. Plus, it also comes with this cute little travel brush, which is pretty decent. So you just open it like that and you have a brush that is small on, you know, it's a small size obviously, but it does come to a sharp point and it's quite interesting to work with. Before I start today's warm up, I wanted to show you what kind of flowers I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do the whole project with the small traveling brush that's included in the set, but I thought I would show you with a bigger brush so that you can get a better feel for what it looks like. So. I've got my brush loaded here and all I do is this. So I'm going to do a side petal and I'm going to press on my brush to get that shape. Then I'm going to do another one on the other side. I'm, I'm kind of giving it a little bit of a different shape and then just one dot in the middle. Sometimes my dot is closer to one of the petals, which I prefer. So again, I'm going to do another one here. So a side petal, swipe from right to left, and then a little petal on top here. And it's super quick, super easy. You can start from the right, whatever. You can even go this is going to be tough for you to see, but you can go this way as well to give a little bit of variation on top and then one petal in the middle. You can do the petals a little bit closer, like so. It's up to you, but this is essentially what I call my three-step flower. Super easy. You can have the flower open up a little bit like so. But essentially, all it is, it's the same basic shapes repeated. So this is essentially the flower that I'm going to show you. And then I'll show you how to doodle. So I'm going to get to practicing now. I'm going to put myself in silent mode so you can listen to some relaxing music. And I'll talk to you in a bit.
Okay, so I could leave it at that, but I want to go a step further. Also notice that I have muddied a bit around the flowers just to give it more interest. And what I want to do now is doodle around the flowers. Uh, I'm going to do my doodling with my Muji pen, the 0.25 millimeter tip. But another good one you could use is the Micron with the O1 tip, something fine. And I'm going to zoom in. So essentially what I want to do is outline the shapes of these petals, but kind of like in an offset way, like I usually do. So I would probably like something like this, not too, um, not too dark. And for the leaves, uh, let's say I want to add some leaves here at the end of that flower. I still have that green there where I've installed a small leaf, but I could do this as well. So it's essentially doing this with another petal, kind of like this, and then just like a figure eight for the leaves. Uh, so again, kind of like that, and then a figure eight. Or I could totally get the leaves of a branch, um, you know, where there's no green. So I'm going to do a couple more here. Some of them are going to, um, so I'm not going to doodle around each of the flowers, just a few select ones. So for instance, I think this one would be fun. one here like a brand new one And I'm being very sketchy with the marker. So this just adds a little bit more visual interest. And as I said, I'm not going to do all of them because I think it's going to take away a little bit from the whimsical um, aspect of the painting. And it would be too much, I think. And I'm, going, I'm also going to add a little bit of doodling around the flower pot. Like so, maybe add some details here and maybe bring down the tree into the pot because it was kind of like floating around. So. I'm gonna Doodle a little bit of that line here. Now, as a last step, I'm going to add a little bit of white ink. And that's going to bring everything together with the background. Because the background's white. Um, let's see here. Let's add a bit of water here. You could also take a gel pen, like a white gel pen or a paint pen, if you don't have opaque white ink.
I'm a big fan of dots, as you know. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I love dots. <laughs> I think it just adds a little bit more of a touch, a more of a whimsy touch. Um, it's just plain and simple cute. That's it. No more excuses. It's just cute. I think I'm going to splatter a tiny bit of that blue-green. Maybe here at the bottom, the top here. Not too much. There you go. I think it just finishes it off really well. It's all in the details. I think this tree is quite cute. <laughs> um, I call this doodling, but yeah, I guess it is doodling. Um, maybe it's accenting or uh, outlining in some cases, but I still call it doodling because it's really little scribbles. Doodling and scribbling is kind of like the same to me. <laughs> um, call it whatever you want. Anyways, it's just drawing and adding that little special touch that will bring your painting to just a notch higher, I want to say. But you could totally leave it uh, without the doodling, it would be fine as well. But I really like the fact that this pot is emphasized as well with the black outline. So quick, easy flowers. My three-step flowers, I think I started doing these when I first started watercoloring two years ago. Um, it's, it's a flower that came instinctively, I want to say. It's just a natural movement for me. But if you have your own flower shapes that you're used to doing and that you're comfortable with, um, please tag me. I would love to see them. I'm at Creation CC on all my social media. So I would like to see your paintings as well. So there you go. That was um, a good way for me to start my weekend. In your case, it'll be a good way for you to start your week. I wish you a very creative day. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Also, I wanna say a big thank you to my awesome patrons for being supportive. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.